so welcome welcome guys good night good night everyone and we are live on uh, facebook i love the fact that we can go straight from youtube channel guys could we please mute ourselves we can go live from all our youtube or facebook or instagram whatever we call it and we can go live on to facebook so this evening uh is a really exciting evening for me i love it love it love it love it we're drum rolling and we are actually live on my page and so guys if you have i'm gonna send you the link so if you're on my facebook page for those of you guys who are on here you can always um add this to your own um facebook so you can go and get yourselves tagged and make sure that everybody knows that we are here it is sunday the 20th of december and i'm really excited let me just make sure i bring everybody up on 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 the video gallery so everybody can see us and we are all here so hey guys take yourselves off mute you all i'm so excited that we are doing this tonight make sure that you go to my page and you share on your own page it is really good to see i'm missing somebody so we've got mama ajua uh, Zabuile is not here yet, and uh, we've got Janias. I love your background, Janias. Audrea, we've got <laughs> Kara. So, guys, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi. Guys, Good evening. We're live. We're live on Facebook. So, please, let's have our best behavior as we normally do. So, guys, this evening, I wanted to bring you all together. Um, if you are not yet sharing it on your page, if you go to my Facebook page, you can quickly share it on your page so that your followers can see it because this is as much about you than anything else. Um, you're, I'm just a facilitator. You're the ones who've just gone through this and you're the ones who have produced these amazing results. And tonight I just wanted to give you the platform so we can talk about it. So for those of us who don't know me, my name is Dr. Ava Eager Brown. I'm a life book and business strategist. I um, am also the owner, proud owner and CEO of The Mango Girl, which is an amazing brand um, spread all over continents. Um, we just had several orders today from for the US and I was, I was like, what's happening in the US? I was really excited. But tonight we're not here to talk about my brand, The Mango Girl. We're here to talk about these amazing ladies who were brave enough to have gone on this journey with me in june um where we started what i called a book to business masterclass and i just want to say to these to you guys who are watching these ladies are amazing they're phenomenal they are boulders they are tenacious they are creative um there's some amazing words i could use to describe them and so without any further ado I'm going to have them introduce themselves because they're very capable. And I'm going to start with Mama Ajua, who's at my very bottom, um, because she's wearing one of my favorite colors, the mango color, of course. She just bribed me that way. She and Zubuile. And then it's going to be Zubuile, um, then Carol, then Janice, and then Audrey. So, Mama Ajua, welcome. Oh, for the Introduce yourself for me, Mama Ajua. And then I want you all to introduce yourselves and who you are, what you do, and then we're going to dive in. So greetings, everyone. My name is Jackie, a.k.a. Mama Ajua, and uh, my background is nursing, health visiting. I'm also a photographer. In terms of Ava's Masterclass, the book um, to business, my story is around my six-day trip to Ghana in March which actually lasted for 150 days. I was there during the pandemic. During that time, I wrote over a hundred poems and I've just Where's the book? published my first book called The Overstayer. And basically it's just um, 32 poems about my journey, my experiences, my adventures. <laughs> Who's going to copy my adventures in Ghana? I had an absolutely wonderful time. Um, you know, every time I think about it, I feel so emotional because it, it, I'm speechless, really. And I just want to thank Ava and the ladies in this group who really, you know, this book is also for you because if it wasn't for all of you, 
with your ideas and your thoughts and really supporting me and, and, and um, just keeping me on track. This would not be life today. So I say thank you to you. Thank you very much, Mama Ajoa. Um, I'm going to come to Zubuile, who is next, um, to say who you are, um, introduce yourselves to the audience, and then um, we're going to go to Junaius. Hi, guys. Good evening. My name is Zubuile. I'm a South African, and uh, I thank Ava for inviting me to be here tonight to talk about my journey through becoming an author and through the masterclass that I've just uh, finished with her. What happened? My book is about. Hello? We're here, we're here. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we Pardon? can. Right. I wanted to say uh, my book is about growing up in South Africa during apartheid. And we are talking here about writing a book and doing business around your book. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Zabuile. And we're gonna hear more from you later. We're gonna come to Janice. Janice, I'm loving the background. Has anybody seen the shift? Do you guys do you guys see what's going on with Janice right here? I love the background, girl. Well, hold on, you you need to be unmuted. And she's all the way in New York City, so we are global. Okay, sorry. You can hear me now? We can, yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Well, my book is titled Misjudged. It's about basically based on my life, um, of the life changes, my mental health, um, my child, my children, how they made me strong, a strong person the way I am, and family relationships. Yes. And I know that a little business has already started on the side which we're gonna talk about later, which I'm really excited about. So welcome, Janice. And over to you, Miss Carol. Wow, every time I think of Carol, I, there's a particular word that comes to my mind. I'm not gonna say it here, because it's trouble. But you guys in the group know, in the masterclass know what I'm talking about. So yes. G -G 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 -G. Um, <laughs> but Carol, welcome. Tell us about who you are and what you've been doing so far. How we can't hear you, honey. Raise that voice up. Hey, Carol, are you there? A little bit, yes. Right, my name is Carol Lang. Um, my career, I used to be a legal secretary. Um, and now I'm a care assistant. And what I have achieved from book to business, um, I think I'll tell you later. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. And I'm, it's a good tell you later because you've just come leaps and bounds, which is just so amazing. Thank you for being here. And then we're over to Madame Audrea Joseph. Audrea, introduce yourself, what you have done, what you do, and we're gonna talk about the book to business masterclass in a second. Okay, hi, good evening, everyone. My name's Audrey Joseph. Um, I've had many different incarnations, but I guess the last thing I was doing more recently um, was I was working as part of the Prince's Trust with the young people and at various boxing academies. Um, uh, um, so that's various different things that I was doing before, but then the lockdown came, I was going around different places, supporting young people, then the lockdown came and things changed and then came into this book group in June and started a children's book, which is amazing. So I've written my first children's book. I'm just waiting to get it illustrated. And then what came out of that was a business. So I'll speak about the business after Dr. Brown. Thank you, Audrea. And so guys, we have tonight here a number of 
talented, amazing women who have literally come on the book to business um, program. Let me ask you guys, when I had this mad concept of I'm going to do this book to business, what were your thoughts? I mean, anybody can take it. Like, what were your thoughts? Be on I want you guys to be really honest, you know, like what were your thoughts? Anybody? I didn't know it would work. You didn't know it would work. Okay. Okay. I like the honesty. And why is that? Why did you not think it would work? Because we all, you know, we all have different lives and stuff. And I just thought that these amazing women that I've that I'm working with in the group are actually doing doing it. So I'm proud of everybody here. Good. And 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 now and six months later, how do you feel about having seen it actually having seen us do it? How <laughs> how do you now feel? I feel good. Yeah. I'm proud I, of you. Proud I, of everyone. Janice, let me tell you what I can say about you because I've watched you blossom. Like, just even for you to be doing this, for me personally, because I know you better than anybody else here. It's such leaps and bounds to see you here. Guys, do you see her post on Facebook? Have you noticed the difference? She's fierce. Thank you, guys. She's so fierce. She went and got qualified. We're going to talk about that later. She's done a lot of courses and stuff. <laughs> In this masterclass, I mean, Ajua, when you thought of the book to business masterclass, what did you think, or what made you say yes? So, Amy, you know that uh, you've spoken to me before about uh, possibilities of writing a book, and I guess it just wasn't the right time, at, you know, in the past because I was in Ghana and I had time. Mm. I spoke in the group about, um, you know, having to juggle my finances and really thinking, oh my gosh, can I really afford this? I have to be truthful, you know, could I afford this with everything that was going on? I wasn't working, there was no income coming in. And I decided that I had to invest in myself. Mm. And, Amen. and Mark, you know, when we started in June, it was my birthday month, lots of things happening. I was supposed to uh, left on the, the the 12th of June that didn't happen and then I realized I was going to be in Ghana for my birthday and that really hit me and then when you know you posted about book to business I'd already started writing the poems and I just thought yes yes this is my time I'm going to do this I'm going to invest in myself and the rest is history I, I don't think I I really um thought about the book to business concept mm -hmm. however I'd already started working on it because I was already you know I'd already set up my Etsy shop so it all just been in place and everything just came together so thank you wow and you have this when I think about your business now are surrounding that whole project of the overstayer which I love the name and title it's that somebody had to reach out to me and said I, I that looks like an interesting book I want to read it so I'm like Ajua, can I have the link for, you know, can I have the link? And we sent the link to the person and it's just such a great topic and such a massive platform to just do so many things on. And I know that without going into so much detail, can you tell us now that you've done the overstayer and you've set up this business around, you pivoted and the COVID has given you this great opportunity. What are some of the things that you've literally branched out into as a result of this whole project? She's got tentacles everywhere. <laughs> so I've set up an Etsy shop and that's really working with local seamstresses and um, people in Ghana supporting their businesses and um, just giving back to the community. We're also able to support two young um, girls with their education in Ghana. So in the Etsy shop, we have um, fans, boxer shorts, um, some carvings. Um, I've just started making some wreaths and the last batch are going out tomorrow before and um one of our over the weekend where is it this is something i've got a few new products so moringa is one of my most favorite things at the moment it's rich in vitamins a c b um a c b d um reduces inflammation it's good it also um can reduce blood pressure 
cholesterol, it's good for digestion. And I don't know if you can see, this is that, it's not showing up very well, but yes. this is Moringa tea. Yes, I take it every With day. love from Ghana, Moringa tea. Yes. We'll be having Moringa oil as well. And to the, can you see me in your hair style? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is love from Ghana wigs. Okay. <laughs> go, go, girl. Go, I girl. Nice. For when I don't want to do my locks. That yes. Is, that's that's so amazing. amazing. Yeah. Because there's also, remember the tours as well? Yes. And the tours next year. The Ghana tours. The chocolates. Where are the chocolates? The chocolates are up here. Chocolate, yeah. Oh, it's my yeah. milk chocolate, TQ, um, plain chocolate, which you can have branded. Wow, I've got the chocolate's branded. amazing. I've just had <gasps> just had some um Kata. had some chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I've got a go fan. to the Pixie shop and get your with yeah. Oh, you got your fan. I got a fan here. We're going to put the link mm -hmm. under the post, but guys, no joke, like, make sure that you get your fan. They're very durable. I have a Spanish mm. one over there, and it breaks. This one is very, very durable. But this yeah. is the kind of stuff that happens. And guys, for those of you who are watching, I really want you to spread the word. So like and tag and share, because this is something that needs to happen. So you have a plethora of things that are happening. You're doing the tours with Love from Ghana. Guys, people are still traveling to Ghana. You are, especially now, people are looking to relocate. So just make sure you come and talk to Mama Ajua. But these are some of the things that happen when you, and I know you have a lot of other things that we can't discuss on Facebook. If you have not yet gotten your Christmas wreaths, please get a Christmas wreath that's going to last for a long time. And that's unique and different. And that's, again, from Mama Ajua. We're going to drop all the links under the chat. So thank you, Mama Ajua. Thank I'm going to come to Zubuile. Zubuile, tell us a little bit about what you gained from the program. Because I think that, you know, it's all good and well to go on a program. But what have you learned from the Book to Business Masterclass that's most important to you? Or what stood out for you the most? First of all, I would say uh, I wanted you to ask me what made me say yes to, oh, you to, to the idea well. because, okay. because I've got this answer in me that says I believed in you and because you had held my hand for so long and so well, I said, whatever, I'm going with this girl. Oh, yes. this is so amazing. Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. What so a this, go, back, go back to the fact that uh, when I started writing, I didn't even know where to start. Mm. Yes. And with, uh, with the master class, I have learned everything that I should have had in my head before I even started writing. Now I'm ready to carry on with part two of the same book because what I did was just talk about one story in my life as I was growing up in South Africa during apartheid. I just put one story in particular because that story was the mover and shaker and liberator. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now I'm ready for part two because I've got all the tools that I got from masterclass. Wonderful. And in terms of the business that you're going to be doing, I don't know if you want to talk about that publicly yet. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk about it if you're free, if you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, then I understand why and I can respect that. I am into clothing business. But it's going to be different because it's going to be created from the organic materials that will help people who are allergic to many things to help them just wear without thinking anything because it's from organic and it's materials that are natural and eco-friendly. Yes. So that's my clothing line that is coming. So Zabuili so is having a clothing line that is ethical, and that's the yes. word I'm going to tag onto that for right now, is environmentally yes. friendly, sustainable, ethical, yes. and I'm going to go a bit further by saying it's going to benefit the people in her village in South Africa. Thank you so much, Zabuili. Audrey Amen. Joseph, I'm going to come over to you and ask you, like, 
what what has been like what have you learned or what have you taken away or what have been some of the positive that you got from the the master class anything in particular that stood out for you yeah i got a lot really i got a lot but what i do remember initially um when you grouped us together in different groups so we had accountability partners yeah now i absolutely loved love love that um the first lady who I partnered with actually she she um ended up giving me the name for my book so that was the whole launch of the whole thing that I do now um just based upon a conversation with her and then um I'm not going to name anyone in particular in the group but I had some other ladies that I was paired up with as well and it was just absolutely wonderful because their contributions were amazing whether they know it or not what they had to say i've got um a note i've got a book and it's full of so many notes from these ladies you know just the um ideas the brainstorming creating a blueprint it was absolutely wonderful but not just that alone it was also um the content mm. you know um learning about marketing um learning actually about um how to place yourself um to create a press release all these type of things that um whether we understood them before or we do you know it was just actually brilliant knowing how to tap into your particular area so you could fine tune it and that's what i absolutely loved as well but i absolutely loved the whole group the whole sharing you know with like minded people because i can't say women because there was a man in the group too <laughs> so let's not forget tried. it because he he's set his business up too yeah he's got a very thriving not here. i'll update you guys about private he's got a very thriving business they're looking out to expound abroad and yeah conversations happening there yeah and you just said something audio that i really like and it's the 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 support of the group one of the things that i loved about working with this group was just the support you guys gave each other it was it was just somebody want something somebody posted in the group and then yeah. everybody was supplying information i really love that i remember ajua wanted to choose her logo anybody remember that or yeah and she put them both in the group yeah and, and we said oh you we like that one we like that one yeah ajua how did that help you I mean it really helped me to make a decision because I was undecided I wasn't sure about the colors what to do because I remember the first one that was remember and it was really basic it was just the words with love from Ghana and then the the flag remember that the first one that yeah it was really basic and then I went back to the drawing board went back to my guy and he came up with two brilliant designs and yeah everyone just helped me a lot by you know just their opinions Mm. what they thought would work and yeah it was really good very Let me tell the other thing that i like i remember when we all i don't remember how it happened but we all had this coupon anybody remember the coupon and we were just sharing the coupon i think it was from wukawa mukawa some cow or some place mm. mu.com yes mu.com yes and we yeah. all just shared it was like everybody found a resource you found something about some reading thing and some book thing and we just were just we're just a sisterhood that i really absolutely love and sometimes people don't understand the value and the power of group work and how a group must how group coaching can help somebody carol let's talk about on that same vein the group dynamics how did that help you to bring your business to life and i want you to talk about your business girl so i'm going to give it the floor to you to tell us about your business but also tell us about how did the group dynamic helped you because one of the things i remember specifically as we wrapped up last week was your instagram anybody remember that that stood out for me when i saw the how you blossomed from the group into that beautiful instagram page which we're going to tell everybody about in a minute so they can go and follow you how has the group dynamics helped you and what do you do now tell us what you do now that you've, you're in the group and you did this program what have you come out with and what you do and how did you find it I uh it was a challenge it was uh way out my comfort zone but um like mama adjura said that when i saw the course 
I thought that this year I have to do something and I have to do something, I have to complete it. And um, I decided to, I, I thought about it for a long time. Then I think I saw like the deadline and I thought I better just go for it. You know, I didn't know how much it was and I asked. Leap and I of thought, faith. You know so? Leap of faith. Yeah. Sort of. And I, I joined the group and then I saw the, the first day we started, I saw these women and I was quite nervous as usual thinking, oh my gosh, you've got a couple of doctors in here, and oh my gosh, and I'm just a dear <laughs> assistant. I, I don't think I'll come back next week. And you know, all the chatter, it was nice. It was nice. We had ladies um, from the Caribbean and you know, America, like yourself. And as the time went on, everybody started to um, gel. And um, a lot of help, a lot of help. Is um, Auntie Audrey there, where I was, oh. <laughs> Must say, I was buddied with Audrey, and I think uh, what happened after the um the session, the, the the night, the next day, I was so fired up, couldn't sleep, could never sleep, could never sleep. There was just this thing I could hear Ava's voice going over, and I just thinking, right, Ooh. almost got it. And Audrey, when I when our days were to meet, um, the ideas that she gave me, that was just like. But then we share the ideas because yes. it's funny that I yes. more could see her her vision or, or her thing what she's going to do more than mine. But um, just very very helpful. Um, well, my thing is juicing, and I've liked juicing for quite some time, in actual fact. But it's just really come to life since I've been on this course because um, the book thing. I, I didn't think I could write a book. And I was thinking, who's going to read that? But anyway, and um, whilst writing a book, I didn't know where to start. So I asked Ava, where do I start? She said, from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd go back to my childhood and just start there. And it brought back so many memories. And every time I started to write something, I would say, oh, I, I remember. And I would say, I remember, I remember. So I'm almost there. I'm not completing my book yet because every time I keep remembering something more to um, put in it. But um, at this present moment, I um, I mean, I'm trying to, not trying, I'm making juices, shots, and here's a little cutie here. Yeah, can you, can you hold that again? Let's see that. Oh, she got her props. Yes, girl, I love it. Good girl. You, oh, is that beetroot? This is beetroot with, um, I think this is beetroot with, uh, Cranberry, yeah. I've got some cranberry. Wow, those are some ginger. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's so good. In actual fact, sorry, but I I made this the other day. This is a killer. This one is um garlic, orange, and ginger. This wow. is the corona killer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> The Corona Killer, oh, oh my God, God. wicked. <laughs> no. The thing about it is when you drink this, you know normally, you know, garlic repeats on you. It doesn't. I drank it and went to work and I thought, oh my gosh, here we go. But this, this, wow. Carrie, you're going to make me cry because... Wow. Because, Carol, I know how shy you are. <laughs> and what you just did, I went, oh gosh, you made me teary. What you just, when I heard, did you guys hear her? Like, you make me want to cry, because I've worked with you for a while. And just to hear you come here, and she brought her props, you know, guys. Did you guys see that? Oh, <laughs> It's tempting. I want some. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want to drink <laughs> some? No, oh, that's oh wicked. Oh, my God. Yeah. Guys, you know what? Oh, wow, Carol. Oh, well done. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Don't take a <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, some when I started doing this course, I remember it was every week. And it was a lot of weeks. <laughs> it mm. was a lot of weeks. And some mm. nights I was tired and I, I you know, I, I do all, I, I'm a mom, I have my own company and I'm on my own. And some, some weeks, some weeks it was hard. But when I, you guys just kept me going. And Janais, I'm coming to you because, and I'm saying this to lead up to you, because I know that you were working, you got your children, you got married, and so many things in between, but you still kept holding on. 
kept holding yeah. Well, yeah, you kept holding on. And I just want to, I just want to pause and because the time difference as well for you was, was a struggle and you kept holding on no matter what. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you've achieved recently, especially your last, yeah. as a result of the course, you have just finished some qualification. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, I have a bachelor in psychology, but I love learning and I love knowing more things. Um, being that my son is autistic, a lot of people don't know that. Um, I wanted to get more insight of of it because I'm I'm brand new at it too. You know, having a child who has a disability, along with myself having a disability, you know, dealing with my mental issues. So what I took out of this course, I'm just gonna say I growth basically, because I came in all shy and you know, all reserved. <laughs> But now I'm kind of growing out sprout <laughs> like a flower. And I'm very, very excited to publish this book next year um, because I want, I want it to be known. It's okay to have a mental illness. It's okay to struggle sometimes, you know, and it's, it's, it's definitely okay because the stigma on mental illness is so, so over the top, you know, and look at me, I have anxiety and depression and I still keep going. I still keep doing what I need to do, you know? And this group, these ladies has helped me along the way. And I'm just, I'm proud of the outcome of it. Thank you. And can I just say, you're so eloquent. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever stopped to listen to this girl. She is so eloquent, very poised. And I've just seen you grow. Like when I see your post, and I know guys that sometimes I'm not on your Facebook a lot because I'm not on Facebook a lot anymore. But when I see her po her posts these days, they are so fierce. Does anybody notice that? Mm -hmm. Her posts are just like, this is me. Deal with it. Bye, girl, bye. <laughs> like, I just love that because a few months ago, last year, you weren't that girl. You were a little bit more reserved and a little bit more careful. But now I've seen you grow, you're standing in your own and you're claiming your space and you're claiming your power. And that's what being in a group like this is all about. Carol, I'm going to come back to you. And I really went on to deny. I needed to go there, but I had to just I want to cry and I didn't want to cry. <laughs> Carol, you just held up. I remember when we had the one-to-one -one sessions because part of the masterclass meeting, we had our one-to-one -one sessions, okay? And in the one-to-one, -one, I challenged you to go and get some bottles. Do you remember? Talk us about that. <laughs> and like, because when I saw that a while ago, I was still, I was like, oh my God, that's my, it's like, I felt like mother hen and my, I just saw my chickens hatch for the first time. Talk me through that. Like what happened that night of, because I gave you some kicking, didn't I? Absolutely. Tender kicking, mind you. It, it, it's, all, it's all worth it, as you can see. So what happened was, um, after my streamer one-to-one, -one, Ava had actually put me back on track because I was all, all over the place. And she put me back on track and told me to get myself some bottles and start juicing because the time that we're in now, they are going to be required. So I did that. I did that. I think I eventually ordered like three different sizes um, of box um, of um, bottle so um i think the one not i think the one-to-one -one what we have because sometimes you don't really want to ask questions in the group so the one-to-one -one -one that you have that the group, the group no 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 but no no it didn't do that but there's time i speak for myself yes. then i say ladies i speak for myself that sometimes i like to do things um privately yeah that's the word so um i had um very very good um, encouragement and told what to do and the thing is with Ava when she told you to do something you just have to do it not in a bad way but because you know next week you're going to come back and then she <laughs> says Carol have you done such and such and you think um I was Carol you know so to not get that <laughs> you know you just do it because as well as for me, it, this is a challenge and um, I'm really enjoying that, we, you know, that you get someone to hold your hand as you journey through this, this course. 
I thoroughly enjoyed the course. As I said, I didn't think that I could write, well, I write like, like a book. And I have actually got loads of um, note, notebooks with lots of things in it prior to going on the course. So a lot of that can fit into my, um, my book as well. But um, when I thought I'd finished, something else came to mind. So, but um, I know by next year, I will have a book. Right. But you have a business now. So, Carol, tell us where we can find you on Instagram. How, where can we order the juice, the, the shots? Because, so guys, let me just do a plug for Carol because I'm going to come around to all the ladies now, let them talk about their stuff and what they do and how to come in. Guys, Carol is doing juice shots. And in this period, no joke, that we find ourselves in, one of the things that we have to do more importantly than ever is to look after our immune health. Immune health is very, very important. And so juicing, especially shots, which are just concentrated, that you just bounce back like you bounce back the rum, bounce back like you bounce back the Bacardi or every other thing, if that if you do, now is the time to put down the alcohol and be juicing. And so Carol's juices are thought through about whether it's for immune boosting, whether it's for cleansing, whether it's for detox, she has it all together. Her juices are delivered throughout the UK only for now. And she literally posts them first class next day. So she sends them with Hermes so you get them quickly. And so if you want to order or you want to collect them yourselves, Boris permitting, you can contact Carol. Carol, how do we contact you? What's your Instagram handle? And do you know the cost of a seven day shot? Do you know the cost of that yet? Or uh, Yes, I do. Yeah. With delivery and everything, yes? With delivery, yeah. Yes. You can share it with us? Okay, so um, I can be contacted on um, Instagram on um, wholesome souls, wholesome dot souls, JR. Here in the chat so people can see, yes. Go on, sorry. Got that? No, continue talking, Carol. I'm going to put it yeah, on You can chat. contact me on that or... I can put other details in the um, the chat later on on the Facebook. So it's wholesome souls. Um, it's on Instagram. I've just dropped the link under the Facebook chat right here, right now. I'm gonna drop everybody's details. If you guys can drop the details in the chat for me, you my 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 beautiful authors and B E B E O S and C E O S, drop your details in here. Um, and Carl, how many? How much is um a, a shot? A, a whole shot. Well, a shot is two pounds forty nine. So for the week, but for the week it will be um, if it's purchased like purchased like today, two yeah. pounds per shot, or fourteen pounds for seven days. Okay, so can Ooh. I have seven days, please? I'm gonna put my order in today. Okay, I'm gonna send you my address, and I'd love to order um a week supply for me and my family, for me and my son. That would be great. Um, and I'm serious about that, so I'll kind of tell you what i want off air so thank you much okay. um, that's that's me sold right there and guys i live in northern ireland and i'm buying them and i know they're gonna get to me hermes is just down the road she dropped it at our local hermes shop and they're bottled they come to me they're not glass they're in plastic they're mm -hmm. fresh and they have no preservative and Absolutely. you will be just fine if you want to pick them up from her please contact carol carol thank you so much now i'm gonna come to um can i just say, can I just say something to carol Sure. Carol, I think you I need I think you need to um either you need to coin that phrase, the corona killer. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> corona killer. Okay. Like the corona killer. killer. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Juice needs to be called that. You, yeah, that's what it is. That's I'd call them corona shots, baby. That's what <laughs> I would call them. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Carol, you need to you need to get your labeling together, honey, and corona yeah. shots, okay? Yeah, killer. that's what that yellow one is a corona killer and you also need to have the corona shots that's what i would do you see what i talk about this team make the dream work so Zabuini, tell us where we can find you where we can buy your book and then i want you guys can you drop your details in the chat guys i can drop it under the facebook as well audrea janias drop your details mama Adua, drop your etsy shop so i can post it as well um, Zabuili, where can we find you? Where can we buy your book? And when can we expect your clothing line to be out? My clothing line is going to be out by April. 
Nice. By April, it's going to be out, my clothing line. Fabulous. And the book, uh, the people who are with me, I send copies and sign them on the spot. I always have books in my bag. Mm -hmm. And I have a link for Amazon for those that can't get the book from me. I will, uh, I will post my, uh, my link on Facebook. I've got it. I'm going to post it now. I'm posting the link for I Survive Apartheid. Guys, she has five stars only on Amazon. Like, this girl is slaying it. So clothing line is coming up in April. We're just looking yes. forward to that. I'm dropping the link now for I Survive Apartheid. Please make sure you get a copy of it. Um, and it's there under there. And Zabuili is very passionate about South Africa, passionate about helping women. And just to see that her business, book to business line is going to be supporting women in the village, just yes. makes me excited. Because as somebody who, my Shia butter comes from Ghana, we can change the village that it comes from. All of our Shia butter are literally fair trade. We know where they're coming from. All of our butters are mango butters, are avocado. Everything we use come from either Mexico or, or Ghana, and we can trace it. And I love the fact that I'm empowering women in the village when you buy something from the mango girls. I'm really excited about that for you, um, Zabuli. Um, I'm going to come to Janias. Janias, tell us what's next for you. And I know that you're, you have some stuff going on. Um, what can we expect next from you? Um, I should be done editing. I mean, not done, writing next month and hopefully by February um, or March, it should be published. Awesome. And Janice's book is called Misjudged. It's a powerful book because I've, I've been coaching her on it. And how many of us feel misjudged all the time? And I think it's going to be for everybody who's ever felt misjudged, um, growing up as a teenager, growing up as a girl, anybody who is craving and desiring certain affection from certain people in our lives, but also anybody who's suffering with mental health illness and people don't really understand it. So I love the title. I remember when we were trying to get that title. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. It was hard because you was like, my title was too vague. So I had to change it a few times. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys are making me sound so wicked, the wicked stepmother. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> and so Janice is going to be ready hopefully by February. And um, we're going to come back again and share this with you guys. Mama Ajua, tell me about where to find you. I'm going to grab your details. So tell us what's next for you, where to find you, and how do we take it from here? So, what's next for me at the moment? Um, I, what I didn't speak about was that. Um, some of the proceeds from the book will be supporting the Krojua Bridge Project, which is a village in eastern region in Ghana. Um, I was privileged to uh, help with the food bank there. And one of the issues, one of the main issues the villagers have is that the bridge that links them to their farm um, land, which is shared with several communities, over 50,000 acres of farmland, the bridge is broken and it's been broken for five years. Every time I talk about this, I'm ready to cry. It's scary, I know. The, oh, the bridge has been broken for five years. The villages are on one side and their crops are on the other side and they cannot get there. The crops are, people are starving. They can't support their families. They haven't got food to eat. And it's, a 10 kilometer um, journey around one of an elderly gentleman told me that um, when he goes there one time he went you know he took the journey all the way around and when he got there it rained and he was stuck there mm. for four days for four days he couldn't come back because it rained and he was just stuck there so what we want to do is to raise funds we're trying to raise 15,000 pounds to not only just repair the bridge because the bridge is um, a concrete bridge. Mm -hmm. What we want to build is a, a metal bridge. So it's not just for foot passengers. Cars will be able to go across the bridge 
they will then be able to build a road to open it up to join the communities so it's not just the bridge it's about the whole community you know looking at employment jobs um housing it's a massive project mm. it's a massive project and that is that is you know when they no. when they said to me you know this is what we need I thought, oh my gosh if I had the money, I would have just given it to them. I would have built the bridge myself. However, I've, I haven't got that money to do it. I just, and I've come back with that as one of my main tasks to Thank somehow you. raise this money with our group and to get people on board just to help us in, you know, any way, any way that they can. So the GoFundMe <laughs> is live. I've actually got some money. Um, the GoFundMe is live. Yeah, it's oh, called the Quadro Bridge can I Project. Link, please, where's the link? Um, can you can you go onto Facebook and put it under the link? So for those of you who are listening and for the people on the, you guys know me. I'm I'm a sucker for charity. I'm a sucker for philanthropy. My whole life was people giving me. You guys know that I don't hide it. If you and I do, I need to give you some money as well because I did pledge, but nobody came back to me. So, guys, we need to follow up. You know, we need to follow up. Follow up. When people offer us money, please don't forget to collect it, okay? So, I'd offered some money. I'm going to be honest and remind you that I did offer some money. Um, if anybody is watching right now and you want to make a donation to this project, please, 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 please um, just comment below to say, I'm interested in funding the bridge and the project. Um, you know, especially in times like these, we have to understand that humanitarianism is really key and it's really important. And we have to support our own economies. We have to support our own communities. You might not know somebody in Ghana, literally, physically, but your penny can go a far way to touch a life. So if, and, and I remember seeing that picture of that bridge and it broke my heart. I remember on your book launch, that one was hard for me to see. Um, I also know that Janias is, is collecting for autism as well. And I'm just really just splitting these things out to just remind you, because when we do these book to business things, we're not just doing them to just make money for ourselves. We are actually impacting lives with what yeah. we do. I know that um, Zabuili also has a foundation in South Africa. Um, yes. I'm just making sure I'm, 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 I'm fair to everybody here. So um, contact them, reach out. Guys, please shout about these things. I know Audrea um has prison 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 recreation um say that prison again. it's called after prison restoration after prison restoration and carol will hopefully attach herself to something some worthy cause because i think it's so fundamental and it's so important so mama ajua please get the link um guys for those of you who are authors and business owners who i forget to drop your links please make sure you want to drop them under the chat um, mama ajua i've just dropped your Etsy link when you find me the link for the GoFundMe, please let me have it. I'm going to put it under there as well. So I'm going to go there and donate myself because I did promise and I actually have forgotten. Um, Mama, did you have anything more you wanted to say about how we follow you? And So um, everything is with love from, well, Insta is at with love from Ghana. Facebook is um, the overstayer. I've dropped them in the chat and then the Etsy, the Etsy link. And email is... Um, Hi, H I at with love from Ghana. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, who have I left now? Audrey, um, Audrey Joseph. Audrey. Okay, so I'm talking about what I've been doing since I've been in the group. So, okay, to be honest, I am doing something that I didn't think I would be doing again. I'm actually around the sewing machine. I am a creative and I have been a creative since I was a little girl. I love all things creative. I'm actually a fine artist as well. But I'm wow. sure Mama Adjua will understand that because she is a Gemini too. <laughs> <laughs> so we wear many hats. And so I didn't think I'd be around the sewing machine because I'm a speaker doing all that. But anyway, um, during the group talk, um, one of the ladies from the group, um, I, she saw a picture on Facebook of me. Um, I was actually doing some climbing, <laughs> went out with my grandson. And I said to her, yes, I love adventure. And she said, yes, oh, that would be a good name, Adventure Nanny. So the book has been born, Adventure Nanny. So Adventure Nanny goes on lots of different 
things. She does lots of different things. But there was one thing, Adventure Nanny is me. And there was something that tied us together because I love head wraps, head scarves, head adornments. And so in conversation with Ava and the other ladies, the idea came up about head wraps. So I started doing head wraps, which I still do. But then born was the nanny wraps. And the nanny wraps are these satin bonnets, satin on the inside. So I've been on my sewing machine, creating these little beauties. So it's a satin bonnet to protect your hair. And the bonnets came out of a conversation. There was something, I won't go into it fully, but my husband was saying um, something else I had didn't look so romantic, beautiful. <laughs> so I thought, how do we look beautiful when we're in the homes as women? And that's why um, basically Nanny Raps was born because you can be in the house and you can just have your bonnet on. And then you, what you can do is I also make wire wraps, which are these made from the wire you can see behind my prop <laughs> in silver. And so you can twirl it anyhow. And so actually what I have on now is a bonnet and a wire wrap. Wow. And so that's wow. how you create the look. Wow. So I've combined both looks. And wow. I also make the jewelry to match the earrings. Wow, fantastic. And face masks. But I've also started making belts. And this has been in the last few days. So I'm creating various different things, but that's just one small aspect of Adventure Nanny because I've got lots of other things, but things I can't speak about at the moment where lots of big things happening. So yes, I make these and I am on Instagram. Now the satin bonnets are $8.95, excluding postage and package. The wire wraps are $8.95, excluding postage and package. Well, if you buy them both together, I will give you a deal, but you have to direct message me through Instagram and we can talk. But also you can contact me and I've got various different fabrics, but I don't make the same. <laughs> Continuously, you will get five. I make five of the same things. Ooh, I'm so proud. So there is no replica of you. So, and they are bespoke. They are made as and when you want them. Wow. <laughs> and I'm actually thing. thinking my prices are too cheap. I listen to my girls and I'm like, wow, like Audio would never open her mouth and try to sell anything before. <laughs> you create a monster. Send me a red, Denia, send me a red cup. I want a red cup. Oh, I want a red cup. Girl, you guys are on fire tonight. So here's Nanny Rap anyway. Like I said, jewelry matching. And the jewelry actually. It gets stiff because I've got an actual special application that I apply to the fabric Ooh. that makes the fabric become stiff. And that's how I'm able to create the earrings. And no two earrings are the same. I do not create the same look. Wow. Wow. Book to me. Good, like good, you know. <laughs> Girls, you, you, know, you sound like God, God doesn't make any replica of any no. human being. No. Do you know no. that? Wow. No. Individual. This is not mass produced. Yes. Wow. It's made with love. And so your prices need to go up. I can tell you that. Oh, oh yes, I know. Inexpensive, but don't change my price, girl. That's my first order. <laughs> 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 girls, girls, I'm so proud of you. Um, and I really mean that. I think we bonded, we bonded, we've had some laughs after Mr. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We had some laughs. I'm gonna miss those those the Tuesday night laugh. Um, Zubu Willie has missed a few of those steamy ones. Yes, I um, did, cause I I'm still working full time. But um, and sometimes it was Wi-Fi problem. I yeah. had a few no, no, I've been no. moving around as well. But you're here now. You've done well. Um, I'm, I've shared the GoFundMe page. I've saved Nanny Rap page. Thank I've you. all of your links that I've had here on um, Facebook, but you can always go back in there and um, add one statement. If somebody were on the edge and thinking about, you know what, COVID is a time when I can't start a business, COVID is a time when I'm not gonna, I can't invest in myself to write a book. 
what would you say to them? Anybody? What, like, like I can say to you guys that this year I've done some of the biggest things I've ever done in my life. Like genuinely. I mean, and some of you don't even know, like I've had a big opportunity from this week. I've not shared it. It was so massive that when I came off the phone, I remember some of you, you guys know that I sit on the board and um, was steering committee for Santander. You guys know that because I shared that with you guys long ago privately. And I was on the Santander conversation and I came off to jump into another conversation and I got this offer, which I've not shared and I won't share publicly. Um, and when I came off the call, I normally would call Audrey. I didn't even call Audrey. I was so overwhelmed that I went into my room and I just knelt down and started to cry. It was so mm. massive. It was this mm. Thursday. And it was so massive that I could never have seen that coming. Never in a million years. And I had just walked away from something on Wednesday. Right, <laughs> Aud right Audrea? I just walked away from something on Wednesday, closed the door on it, another deal, and just thought, you know what, I'm going to choose my son. It was a deal where... They said that I couldn't be allowed to be a mommy and it was not a choice. Mm -hmm. And the money was good and I needed the money. But I walked away from it and I closed that door. And on Thursday, a deal came into my hand that was so massive I couldn't see it coming. But it's not just the, how massive it is in terms of that. It's the visibility it's going to give me. Mm. Right? And you guys don't know privately already, there's this big visibility piece that's coming out for me in the spring. This is bigger, right? And so I'm saying it to say that if I didn't start my book, if I didn't write my book, I would never have any, had any of those opportunities. And I just want to take this moment to encourage you guys and to plant, which I always do. I mean, I'm not just doing it because we're on camera and Facebook publicly. I do it behind the scenes with you guys privately to just to encourage you to continue to build on it, to encourage you. You guys have seen some of my life on the underbelly that people who don't coach with me see. And isn't that a truth though? Don't I share, I share things with you guys that people on Facebook don't know because you've come closer to me. And I want to use this opportunity to encourage you, to empower you, to remind you that this is a good start. And all of you have got products and services that people will need. Janias, get that business up about children and their mental health. Because right now, honey, let me tell you something. It is the moment to make sure that you're there to start supporting children because they are suffering. They are. Yeah. They are suffering. Carol, it's the time to start making juices because people need to look after their immune health. We are going to have to start looking after our bodies. I decided that this year, I'm where I just finished. Today, I roasted a piece of lamb that was in my fridge. By the mm. end of the year, anything else <laughs> but fish cannot enter my mouth. Right? I'm becoming pescatarian. We have to take care of our health. So it was never a better time to start this business. And it's, you're not going to just jump straight away. You're not going to just jump. You're going to have to hit some roadblocks, hit some potholes. I've taken you guys through the Mango Girl, and I've shown you guys what happened with the Mango Girl. You guys know my journey. Some of you are my customers. You understand the pathway that I have taken. But you also understand where I'm at now. So, Buile. I want to encourage you to keep building blocks on that idea of apartheid South Africa because right now identity could never be bigger. Amen. Your identity and who we are could never be. If ever a time when people were more about who I am, where I'm from, I'm proud of who I am, it's now. Yes. Mama Ajua, the overstayer. <laughs> what a beautiful journey. The lady who went to Ghana with five knickers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible. Six, six. Get it right. Six, 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 seven, six. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I, got, in fact, I need to write a book. I need to write a story about that. My yeah. six dresses and six panties. There's going to be six a story. Panty. Six panty story. Who <laughs> <laughs> went to Ghana with six undies. I want to say to you that yesterday I won an award for a serial entrepreneur. Anybody saw that? 
Mama Ajua, I'm handing it over to you. You are a global serial entrepreneur. I'm literally handing, I'm literally proclaiming that into your life. Because mm -hmm. that's what you are. Mm -hmm. I've seen you when I I see you twirl and twist. There are about nine businesses going on. Like, like she's like these tentacles everywhere. But that's how I am, and people don't understand it. Continue to believe, ladies. I do. I continue to believe in your ideas. Continue to believe in your creativity. Stand in your power. Stand on the ancestral land and ground and soil and allow the ancestors to lift you up like Simba and yes. say, the world is your oyster, take it. Amen. Yes. You see that. Janias, your story yeah. of yeah. being misjudged and misguided is not yours to keep. It is a tool, you are a conduit. You are meant yeah. to be exactly like that. Do you see that brainstorm behind you? I was laughing yeah. when I saw it today because some people might just say, oh, she got a good background. That's not why I said it. Your story <laughs> is meant to be just like that. You're meant to be touching lives of children, purple, green, blue, different children all over the world, teaching them that there it's okay to not be okay every now and then. So those stories yeah. you have, the experience you've been through, and what you brought to this group is not yours to keep. Your story is not yours. Your story is for you to empower, enlighten, refuel, reconnect others. Yeah. And I want you to put that story out there and run and heal a lot of broken yeah. roads. Audrea Joseph. The nanny who has several grandchildren that are not even biological ones. Those nanny books and those nanny activities we can't discuss private publicly because they're not yet out in the public domain are activities that the, the children of a particular generation and ethnic diversity need. They need that connectivity, that relatability. And so you need to hurry up because the procrastination is leaving an audience underserved. Every night I put on my bonnet, guys. I'm telling you, talk about my hair. My hair is maintained and no joke. I have in my house six nanny wraps bonnets. No joke. Mm, I'm an avid customer. Amen. Yesterday, I, I do. I believe in, in supporting the products. Like, I want a reach for Ajua for my house. And I'm telling publicly, the reach for my house that I want for Ajua is big and different. And it's, I, I, I'm going to go to her when I'm ready. Ajua has some stuff that I will need in my Caribbean tropical home. But more than that, I want to encourage you guys. I'm so glad that you trusted me with your process. I'm going to miss you guys on Tuesday night sometime. I'll do a reclaim my Tuesday night back. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this course one more time. I'm going to do a book to business this time, but only for eight weeks. So if there's anybody who is interested in coming on my book to business eight week program, guys, do you see how lucky you were? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm on it again for the next one. I, I'm, I'm on the next oh, one. Audrey's already booked for the next one. Oh, wow. I'm on the next one. I want to be in there. I'm on the next one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've got more ideas to be born. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the support. All of the all of the people who were in this group, they were so supportive. Yeah. I absolutely love that, how we cheer each other on yes. from a genuine place. Yes. Because you know you can't buy that. And you guys want to stay connected, right? I really want you guys to stay connected. I'm not yeah. gonna destroy the group. The group is gonna be there right mm -hmm. and so what i'll be doing is i'm going to be adding new people to the group but the recordings will not be coming into the group it's different but i want to build that community because i really think it's so important that the community stays together how mm -hmm. do you guys feel about that yeah. Yeah. Mama Ajua? yes yeah okay so one last word from everybody audrey yes you told me you want to come on to the next course i've got a girl from canada who wants to come on somebody from jamaica so I've got a few people already lined up. So if there's anybody who wants to come on to the next book to business course, I'm looking to start to in January. So I know some of you are very, very caught up in Christmas or not. 
Um, but let me say something. 2021 has got to be different. You're going to have to yeah. make the changes. I wish I could open my mouth and share some things that are happening to me with the world, but I just can't. And all I can say to you is my book took me to speak at Google. That was massive. I have, I'm sitting on boards at Santander. That is massive. Like the things that will happen from that, I can't begin to speak because it's pub, it's private. Um, I just went and filmed for television. You guys know about that. Can't speak more than that right now. It's coming out in the spring. I was, I'm going to be in this TV program. Can't speak about it. Wow. Um, I've been approached by this TV program to do something massive. That was last week, Thursday. And there's just so much happening, right? Just like me personally being asked to present, like that's just mind blowing, oh. right? You um, can't do this, girl. So much happening from just writing a book. And so I don't want you guys to take it for a joke. I don't want to take it for granted. Oh. Um, we just sponsored the Black own economy as a brand tonight is their award so many wear silver sponsor and we were only a year old a year ago we started cara was one of our customers she has a little sloppy bottles that we started out with now we are so <laughs> exquisite yeah it's okay i can stand in my i'm too. keeping that it's never nice it's valuable <laughs> time to come <laughs> But I want to encourage you guys to continue to go forward. What I want to ask you, each person, one last word, and then to somebody who's thinking, well, I can't invest, not a good time, or whatever, what's right in a book, what would you say? Carol, you were just talking, I'm going to put you on the floor. What would you say to somebody who's thinking, I don't have money to invest right now, I can't do it? What would you say to them? Especially, oh, my, it's COVID time, I can't spend my money. What would you say to somebody? I, I told them to... Um just check it out to see if it's if it's um affordable because it may be affordable they would not know until they until they ask and you know if they do go on the course they will not regret it because i have to say that the quality what we get from you and all the things that you shared with us you know like you go above and beyond you'll be on there for like two hours sometimes Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. You know, and we had a nice, it's like we had a Zoom party, you know, we had a nice time and, you know, like, if it's possible, and you can make it possible if you want to, um, go for it, you know, if you just don't know what, what the outcome is going to be, because it could be one of these. Good. Carl, I need oh. seven, so I need seven, I need my seven juices, I need them by Wednesday, hopefully, so girl, use Hermes, I'm going to send you my address. Thank you so much, Carl. Last words, Zabuile. To you. To Last word, I want to start with you. Yes, ma'am. I want to say to you, whatever you are doing, don't forget to help people write books like you did with me. Not necessarily doing like you did, like, you know, keeping your hand on me, no. But continue being a coach. You, that is the best part I ever saw of you. I don't want you to be so distracted with all the nice things. Give book coaching a, a, a few minutes of your time because trying it my is, time is getting so small. But I'm I know, I know, I know. I thought I'd rather tell my coach, my coach, please don't leave people. Those stories need to come out. I remember how you took my story out of me. You, you actually extracted it out of me. This book was going to be so sterile if it carried on the way I was carrying. But because you know what you are doing. <laughs> I hate to be emotional, but I'm becoming emotional. Oh, it's good. don't cry. Oh. Don't cry. I enjoyed working with you. Um, it was a good experience. And I'm glad when I told you that the book was sterile because there was some stuff <laughs> there that you needed to be vulnerable about. And you know, guys, sometimes when we're writing, we don't understand. It's the pieces that we're thinking of leaving out. Uh, my friend Tanya Hamilton is a, is a director on Greenleaf and... Um, I just read a script for her actually when I was flying over to, to be filmed on TV the other day. And 
I remember her sitting down with me in King's Cross Station and she looked over Manga Girl script and we wanted her to direct it. And she said, Ava, the little pieces that you think are not important are the pieces that make a movie good. And I'm going to say to you, the little pieces that you think are not necessary in the book are the pieces that make a book good, the little things. Because Zubi, I guarantee that that little change that I insisted that was made in that book has made a huge impact on that book. Yeah. It made it real. Yes. Well, thank you so much. And what would you say to anybody who's thinking about writing or to start a business or you know working with a coach or doing something for themselves? Because it doesn't have to be me. And they don't want to invest in themselves. What would you say? Guys, before I move on, have you guys seen Zabuili's book in the biggest, every doctor on Facebook? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, have, I haven't posted for this week gone. I haven't. I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> every doctor on Facebook. Brilliant. It's wicked. Consultants, it's not, not just doctor. Surgeons, consultants. Surgeons, sorry, every surgeon. Everybody. <laughs> in COVID, especially, their reading material is how to survive apartheid. Yeah. I love it. You're such a great saleswoman. I mean, she's beaten me. I know I thought I was bad with my book, but everywhere Zabuili goes, she has her book. She's even gotten her book into books. I'm even sitting here with it. She, she gets it into bookstores, you all. So for those who are thinking of investing, but they're afraid and they're, oh, I'm not sure it's a good idea. What would you say to them, Zabuile? I would say you don't know what you are missing. Mm. I would say investing in yourself will change your life. It's a life changer. Yeah. You change a title. You become, a, you become an author. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And I understand in America, you don't get invited into places if you haven't written any book. Yes, that's this true. is a key yes. to things. In America, there's some speaking engagements and some opportunities you never get if you're not an author. That's yep. correct. That, that is true. true. Well, you're in America. Say that again for me, Janais. That is true. That's true. That true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Audrey, Janias, what would you say to anybody who's thinking about joining probably the next masterclass or any course on investing in themselves? What would you say to them? Um, I would say investment is in, in yourself is very important because like Zimboli say, you don't know what you're missing. It's a life changing. It's a, it's a, it's, it changes your whole life because not only that you're actually writing and you're actually influencing other people. You're actually being a good example for everybody else. And yeah. I, any business that you do, writing, cosmetic, hair, whatever it is, just invest in yourself. You'll see the changes automatically. Amen. Mm -hmm. And last by Mama Ajua, you then Audrea. What would you say to anybody who's thinking of, I know you, you keep telling them, guys, I was in Ghana, we were, we were trying to figure out the money, but still, what would you say to somebody who's thinking of investing in themselves probably in the next masterclass or anything? What would you say to them? I would, I, would um, I don't like to advertise Nike, but I love their slogan, their slogan, just do it. Yes, because if Nike. I can do it, and I truly believe that every one of us, everybody, we all have a story and a book within us. We do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if mm -hmm. I can do it, anybody can. Then there you go. That's it. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna read something quickly purely because it came to me. Put one sentence of this 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 poem, my favorite one. And guys, anybody, <laughs> all of you guys who have books, don't be jealous, okay? And just she just won't. It says, my chameleon and I, I met him the first day I came. I screamed as I saw his sprint around the compound. <laughs> oh Lord, I don't like, uh, I cried. I swear, I, I won't say the word, you're gonna have to buy the book. I swear, <laughs> he just looked at me and smiled. 
I was in the shower and he sat there. I'm improvising. He watched me. I didn't like it at all. I shouted, God, go away, you perv. And to get the rest, you're going to have to get the book. Andrea and Joseph. You know what I've been saying? <laughs> <laughs> so cryptic that was poor. I have to get people, you know, to buy the book, it to was... buy the sequel. You know, that's only part of the story. I just, I, I even left the words in here. Uh, I tell you, at least I know that story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what I wanted to say was I my fans for this one. For that who one. knew? Who knew that a book could become a business? Yes. I had never considered the concept really before. I mean, I journey with Ava in a lot of different ways, but I never actually connected that you could actually turn a book ah, you're into not a, Audrey, no, uh, uh, just a minute, ah, just a minute. Ah, Finish. No, no, no. Yeah, you need my to let book. me finish. My book is my whole life. It's my business. Yeah, but you're not letting me finish. <laughs> Sorry. What I'm saying is that people out there don't know that you can actually turn a book into a business. Who knew that that was even an idea? I mean, I wrote my book in 2015. I didn't even think about turning it into a business, but I have watched you journey. So I'm aware, and what I'm about to say to everyone is that you get coaches out there who tell you what to do, but they're actually not doing it themselves. Amen. Ava Brown yes. leads by example. And so basically what I'm saying is that her business, Mango Girl, was created out of her Mango Girl book. And so what she has found is a formula of how to teach people how to turn their books into a business. And it doesn't matter who you are, Ava Brown will find a, a direction of where your book can take you. And so... For me, it's not just about having someone who's saying do X, Y, Z, but they're actually doing it in real time themselves. Mm. Amen. So I commend her on that. Mm. Uh, you're interrupting me. Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> she got told. She just told. I got served, you all. <laughs> girl, I want to just thank you. May the ancestors be with you. And may God bless for those of you of who, who believe in God. And may God keep you. And I just watch. I just, I wear my nanny wraps. I'm, uh, that I'm gonna get involved. I'm gonna guys please support the GoFund. I'm gonna support it myself. Janias, I wanna see the mental health piece flourish. And Janias, let me give you one advice quickly. You might not need to do that, you might need to find somebody to partner with and do this, right? Because that might be a good way to start and then eventually branch up. But now is a good time, honey. Because there are children who need you right now. No joke. Mm -hmm. Um, Carol, those juices need to get run. I want my own. Um, ginger, the more ginger, the better for me. Um, so um, I'm not running, not dopey, but I still take the garlic. Okay. Um, but we do shots here every morning, but I want to support your business as well. So thank you. Um, thank you guys so much. For anybody thank who's you. interested, I'm going to do my next masterclass in January. If you want to have a conversation, please email me. I'm going to drop my details under here. Ladies, I send you with love and peace and blessing. And I'm still here. I'm not gone anywhere. A little bit busy. God, I'm busy. But I'm still here. So keep it going. Remember the words I said, consistency. And I look forward to seeing you guys' session, you guys' event in January. Um, I think it's the 7th or around about then. Um, I'm looking forward. I'm putting it out there so it can't be retracted. Ooh. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys um, do that. Um, um, if you want to go under the post and leave your, your own other bits and examples of websites and stuff that I've left off, please do that. But more important, I want to leave you with the things that I have to remind myself this week. Lastly, business has a lot of ups and downs. 
there are some unexpected things that are going to come and some curveballs. Trust me, they come. I had a curveball last week. But you just have to remember why you start. <clears throat> that says Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Try to remember the partnering and the budding you guys had here. And when it is hard, call on one of your friends here. Right? Lean on me. Okay? I don't mean me. Lean on your friends there. Because I know Zubuli will say that literally. I'm writing that down. <laughs> Lean on me. But you Ava. said. I'm deleting. But go back to the doors. Go back to the group. Go back to your body system. Your body system doesn't have to stop because we no longer do a master class. You guys can still body up and brainstorm and have a chat and wherever it's hard. That's why group coaching is so powerful. Okay. So from the 2020 mastermind, your creator and founder, Dr. Ava Eagle Brown, I want to honor you guys. I want to love on you. I want to wish you a happy holidays. And um, in the Christmas holiday, don't forget to work on your business. Mm. It's really important. And Mikkel did some real creative work while he was sitting there. He made it from scratch, like oh, literally, um, and pieced it all together, you all. So there you go. So wow. it is all, yeah, I literally sat there and just took my printer paper from Mango Girl Business. I'm going to charge him and make sure he <laughs> 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 pays. <laughs> but quite creative in power. And I'm mm. gonna leave you guys by saying, do some work over your over Christmas on your business. So I'm off now, I've got 250 cans of butter to label before tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ava, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, all Bye. Merry Christmas. Thank you guys. Christmas greetings. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Thank you so Bye. much. For those of you guys who are still wanting to join the masterclass, there is a session that I'm looking to run in January. Um, if you actually want to be a part of it, by all means, please do inbox me or email me. It's Ava Eagle Brown, um, avabrown.org. And to remember my email address, it's info at avabrown.org. I would really be delighted and excited to work with you. It's an eight-week masterclass. It's book to business. So whether you've already written, you're thinking of writing, you're in the middle of writing, you have an idea to write, whatever it is, if you are thinking that I want to write a book, it's a really great time for you to jump on this masterclass and have a conversation. It's limited spaces. I'm only working with a small cohort of people. So please, 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 I'm going to drop my email address there for you to inbox me. We need to have a conversation and then i will get you sorted so to be on the next master class it's eight weeks program uh drop me an email at info at avabrown.org and i will see you on the flip side so thank you guys so much god bless you and on that terms i will say good night <laughs>